Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So today I have um, a special video. It is uh, a Yankee Candle Halloween 2018 preview. Um, I do have two new um, forms of the can of a witch's brew candle here. Um, weird year um, for Halloween. So last year things started leaking out in the end of July. I had Haunted Hollow um, and uh, I didn't have Sweet Seduction then, but I did have Haunted Hollow and that trio of the medium of the pillars, you know, these guys like that. I had all three of those end of July, all the accessories, um, the Witch's Brew and the Forbidden Apple medium jars were out. Um, I guess at the end of July I had those. I know Shane, um, he had those probably a little earlier, at least a Haunted Hollow, a little earlier than I did. Um, and, you know, he did some major research tracking it down, so uh, kudos to him. But unfortunately, this year was really dry. Um, you know, Shane was able to pick up the large 22-ounce Witch's Brew, which I'll talk about in a minute here. Um, but other than that, nothing leaked out this year. It was just... I don't know what it was, you know, um, when it comes to Halloween, Yankees sort of like Apple when they have a new product, new phone um, coming out. It's pretty, pretty tight lipped. Um, but for whatever reason, this year, nothing trickled out um, unlike last year. So uh, until today, basically today is I'm filming this Sunday. So the party, the Halloween Moonlight Ball party is uh, Saturday. So six days away. And I just got my hands on two of these things, or the only two new things I have um, today. And I did not get them from an outlet. I got them from a retail store. Uh, not a Yankee Candle retail store, but another uh, retail store that sells Yankee Candles. And uh, so I do have some news um, for the Halloween party of what is going to be released. Um two things that are going to be released over in uh, Europe and the UK, which you kind of already know what those uh, two cents, four total uh, forms, one of each. Um, we already kind of know what they are, but I can elaborate more on what they are per se here. So um, let's start with what is not coming back. So Yankee, I think, has made some very questionable decisions this year and what is and what is not coming back so oh i didn't grab the other thing so anyhow uh so what is not coming back um haunted hollow not coming back uh, i can pretty much 95 percent confirm that not coming back the other thing that's not coming back uh and this this shocked me when when i heard about it um is forbidden apple forbidden apple is is not coming back in any form uh this year um i thought it was a pretty popular scent um, I know Horn and Hollow was kind of iffy there, but Forbidden Apple, um, not coming back. So you guys will have to go for your Granny Smith um, or your Macintosh Apple from Yankee if you want your, your fix uh, for Apple since right now. I, I don't know. Um, also not making a return are Witch's Brew and Sweet Seduction in tea light forms. So they're coming out in other wax forms. But not tea light forms. So, uh, questionable as well. Um, Bony Bunch. We have 12, Bony bu 12 new Bony Bunch this year. And I think Bony Bunch fans are going to be happy because they're not as large as they were last year. Um, they're a little smaller. Um, price points are a little better from what I've heard. As well as the online exclusives um, are apparently uh, last year's leftovers. That's what I've heard so apparently that's that's what the case is there so um okay so what is returning this year is sweet seduction so this is last year's sweet seduction is going to be the same label in the 22 ounce um, house warmer jar um same scent from what I can tell it's going to be coming in a uh, large house warmer jar a medium house warmer jar um which, by the way, the medium house warmers, and I'm going to show you that in a second. The medium house warmers are 15.5 ounces because they are in the soft wax. So the only way you're going to get a paraffin candle from Sweet Seduction or Witch's Brew is to go up to the large 22-ounce jar. 
uh, unlike the unlike last year's 20 um, 14.5 ounce you know which was paraffin so this year it's uh, soft wax so sweet seduction can be found in the large jar a medium pillar like this and I will kind of show you what the design looks like of that it's gonna come in a ceramic jar uh, small ceramic jar seven ounces and uh, I think it's gonna be like 15 or 20 dollars for that so it's a seven ounce ceramic jar it's like 3d um, raised um, and you'll see I'll, I'll kind of show you that in a second there uh, melts so it's gonna come in the the, uh, the tart as well as the votive uh, and milk cup so it is coming in a milk cup this year as well uh, one thing we're gonna see a lot of and I don't understand why is enchanted moon um, this moonlight ball it isn't really revolving around Halloween it's revolving around enchanted moon which is I don't, I don't get it uh, personally but anyhow so let's move on to oh well, you know what else isn't coming back 95% confirmed steampunk so no steampunk accessories this year from what I can tell there's a couple collections but steampunk not one of them so anyhow so here I do have the new 15.5 ounce medium house warmer jar of witch's brew and I will show you that right here this is it this is the big reveal there so we have the raven in the middle there in a what looks to be like a rose garden of sorts dead roses and we have this purple stripe all the way around and it just says witch's brew in a very boring font um, you know and then we have the glossy lid remember that a couple years ago they had the the whole thing was this um, painted black glass this is matte um, my OCD is kicking in that these don't match and it's driving me nuts it's driving me crazy um, the other thing that drives me crazy is if you take out the Yankee Candle logo there and you turn around like look at all that empty um, white space basically we call that white space in the graphic design world there um, so uh, that's just driving me crazy there so this is like it's etched on sort of um, if you hold this up to the light you can kind of see it's painted um, so light might shine through there but we do have the black wax so it is a soft wax and it has the wick that unravels um, like most of these these do there here's your black uh, black lid there and because it is a soft wax we have a burn time of 65 to 75 hours and on the bottom you'll see medium witch's brew and it just says 20 uh, says 18 on it there so these are going to be your $25 $25 jars there so the design for the medium pillars um, and the special edition or not, I don't call it special edition but the the ceramic jar the seven ouncer there is going to be this with the raven on just taller um, I think the whole jar has it on there for this one and it's gonna be like these rose gardens there are gonna be raised up on the um, seven ounce jar there so now the sweet seduction so 22 ounce jar is gonna have this logo there but when we get into sweet seduction in this format as well as this format and the special edition you know the, the ceramic format there is going to be kind of the same thing here it has an orange band and the raven is a candy wrapper so we go from alcoholic beverage to a candy wrapper okay anyhow now the the 22 ounce house warmer for witch's brew is going to have this logo on it so it's not really that great of a picture you can see here but essentially it is um you can look it up look it up online it's it's actually great um i actually really like the artwork on this um on this it's uh it, you can interpret it two different ways because there's it looks like it's a crow a raven over a um a witch's brew which is pot there and uh if you look the empty space is essentially a witch pouring uh you know uh, stirring um the witch's brew there so um that's a really good design by yangi really digging that there so 
Um, same thing with Sweet Seduction on the tarts. They're going to also have that. Um, and the uh, So Sweet Seduction on the tarts is going to have that candy wrapper. Now that did leak um, to one of the outlets a few weeks ago, I believe. I uh, saw a picture online, someone posted. And then um, the Sweet then the um, tart form of this in the milk cup. I think is also going to be the Raven. So, and I know the tart, the milk cup is going to be that uh, candy wrapper there as well. So, okay, that's pretty much what I have as far as what's coming out. Like I said, questionable decisions. Um, why they're not doing paraffin in this boggles my mind. Um, why Forbidden Apple is gone boggles my mind. Crazy, I don't know. Um, sales. <laughs> All right. So, um, you know, this, it's a really weird year for Yankee. Uh, that is for sure. And I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, you know, new old brands. Um, they're, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but like I said, boggles my mind why they made some of these decisions. I, I do think, um, the bony bunch fans are going to be happier this year. I know last year, a lot were really upset and a lot of bony bunch, um, stayed through this last semi-annual sale, uh, in the summertime at 75% off from last year. So I know it wasn't a big seller last year. There were a lot of questions. It wasn't coming back. Was it not? Um, I had heard people say that it was not coming back, that they were pretty certain it wasn't coming back. And then. Um, you know, Shane, the candle enthusiast, he had heard sources that it was coming back and he had heard that months ago. Um, but it was just, uh, you know, um, too close to call, you know, uh, we'll say there. So too close to call on if it was coming back or if it was not coming back. So, uh, but it is back. So August 25th, there's a, I'm not going to go over the whole in-store stuff. Basically you wear your costume, you get a free, um, customizable label. Um, and then if you take the little scent finder thing, you, you get a free, um, votive or tart and then um the candy dish is 11.50 this year with a 35 dollars purchase um and then basically enchanted moon is half off why i don't know so uh they're focusing on all the wrong things in my opinion but uh that being said i'm not trying to be overly negative about yankee i just wish next year um they make and last year was good we had hot haunted hollow very conceptual fragrance um, you know, just bring back Black Magic or bring back uh, Happy Halloween. I don't know why uh, they're not doing these things. So um, think about it, Yankee. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, August 25th is the Halloween party. Let me know what you guys get. I don't know what I'm getting yet. So, uh, um, so once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you all real soon. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below, and uh, I'll be back with more content. So have a good one.